Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a random string of characters, uh, also referred to as a cryptic nonce, uh, using JavaScript. So something like this might be useful if you are creating a random string, say for a password, or maybe uh, you are using it for uh, OAuth, the type of secure login for various providers such as, say, Twitter. Uh, there's quite a few use cases for it. Um, it's up to you to decide how you want to use it. Well, let's go ahead and uh, see about getting started here. So I've created a, uh, an empty directory on my desktop called uh, nonce example. And inside that directory, what we're going to do is we're going to just create a file called index.html. And let's start by creating the basic uh, foundation here. Oops. All right, now that we have the basic foundation, uh, let's go ahead and create a new script set of tags here and get down to business. So what we're, the basic concept of what we're about to do here is we are going to create a string of defined characters that are legal in our uh, random string and then we're going to loop through uh, X amount of times uh, and pick random indexes from this string to create our random string. And let's start things off by doing the following. Var random string equals function and we're going to give it a length. Uh, so the length is something the user can enter uh, for determining how long this random string is. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do var text uh, which is going to represent the string that we're going to return. So it's, it's kind of a result. Now we're going to say var possible and inside this string we're going to declare every character that, that's allowed. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and quickly type a few here. So I've just basically entered all of the alphanumeric uh, with uppercase and lowercase into this possible character string. So let's go ahead and start our loop. Our loop is going to start from zero, which is the index, of, uh, and it will loop until the specified length. And we're going to increment it by one every time. Uh, so the next thing is we're going to say text plus equals, so we're going to append a character to the text for every iteration, and we're going to say possible dot character at, and then we're going to use the math function dot floor, because we don't want to end up with any decimal values. I'm going to say math dot random times possible dot length. Oops. All right. So with, with that said, uh, we're just looping through however many times of, of the length. Uh, for example, we're, let's just say we're going to use five. Uh, but you know what? Let's first finish this. So we need to return text. And now below it, let's go ahead and try to make use of this function. We're going to say var rs equals random string, and we're going to say five. So with that said, let's see what our value is. Oops. All right. Now we can open up our project uh, into our web browser here to test it out. It's just going to show up in our logs. and you can see that we've created a random five character string. If we refresh it, it's random again. And you can do that uh, 
Let's go ahead and extend the value to 15. Uh, and there you go, you have a random 15 character string. Um, and I don't know, maybe you're creating a password manager, uh, it, or you want to create a random password, like a random string that is strong enough for a password, uh, it should do the trick. Uh, not, o not only is it good for this kind of stuff, but I mean, it, if you're interviewing for a new job, uh, I don't know, maybe there's a good chance that somebody can ask this question because it is relevant to modern uh, web technologies like OAuth, like I mentioned.